Hello friends, this is Imbere TV as usual. I'm Jados, a teacher now. In the previous lesson, we have learned on the part of genetics about Mendelian genetics or classical genetics. So today, also, we are going to continue with Mendelian genetics but on part B which is transmission of two characters or the hybridism in the, the hybridism we have two cases as we introduced it in a previous time those are two cases are independent genes and linked genes independent genes are genes situated on different chromosomes or gene where genes attached on different chromosomes and the linked genes are the genes situated on the same chromosome these are two cases we found in the hybridism or transmission of two characters let's we start on a case of independent genes Mendel cross the homozygous plants with smooth and the yellow seeds with plants that produce ringed and green seeds this is an example on independent genes the first generation plants all had small yellow seeds when the f1 were self-fertilized they produce in the first uh, second generation or f2 plants with yellow yellow no smooth yellow seeds smooth green seeds, wrinkled yellow seeds, and wrinkled green seeds. The question is this. Explain how second generation organisms are found and give their phenotypic ratios. Give also their genotypes as well as respective ratios. Here it's an answer of that example. Apparent are smooth yellow seeds and cross with wrinkled green seeds and i have a gamut where, where r presented smooth and g present yellow and the smaller r present wrinkled and the smaller v present green so on the first hybrids we will get smooth yellow as a phenotypic 100%. When these F1 plants are self fertilized, means that we take F1 and cross with F2, we will get, we will use Punit square like this. And they will get genotypes which is look like this and the phenotypes. Mm -hmm. Let's start on genotypes. Smooth yellow, smooth yellow, it will be nine out of sixteen. Wrinkled yellow will be three out of sixteen. And smooth green will be 3 out of 16. Red green will be 1 out of 16. Okay. You get all answer and the phenotypic relations look like this. On oh, no. oh, no phenotypes. Also, it will look like this as you are seeing here on this table. Linked yellow, smooth yellow. Okay, I like this. Mm -hmm. Let me continue. And from these results above, Mendel formulated the law which is called independent assortment law this is a third law of mendelian 
according to this law of independent assortment law, two alleles of one gene are assorted or distributed independently from alleles of other genes during the process of formation of gametes. This law of independent assortment law said that two alleles of one gene are assorted or distributed independently from alleles of other genes during the formation of gametes. It is to be noted that the law of independent accept assortment concerns the couples of alleles of different genes, while the law of segregation of alleles concerns the alleles of the same gene. Understand? Let me give you some example or exercise you can do in your notebooks. In a piece, tall, tall steam, which is represented by T, capital T, is dominant to short steam, which is represented by short T. And red flower is represented by big ala, is dominant to white flower, which is represented by small ala. Question number A. What types of plants would develop from cross between a tall red flowered plant with alleles like this and a short white flowered plant the question number a number b what types of plants would, would develop in f this is the answer of above question this answer Mm -hmm. This is how to find second generation, and you have to use Punit square. And this is phenotypic and genotypic ratios, genotypes and the phenotypes. Uh -huh. Here there is some activity you have to answer it very well because you have studied this process of test across in our previous lesson. It says that how can we know if an organism carrying two dominant phenotypes is heterozygous or homozygous for two characters? As usual, we have to use process of test cross. There's a process of test cross. As I, I told you in the previous lesson, we used this process, which is test cross, in order to determine two phenotypes, dominant, uh, an organism which is dominant in phenotypes to determine if it is heterozygous or homozygous. In order to do to determine this, an organism to be tested is crossed with recessive individual for the same two characters. This is an example. How to determine if an organism presenting the dominant phenotype for two characters is double A, double B or A, smaller A, big A, big B. These are alleles of genes. In order to get this, you have to do the crossing it with double recessive A, A, B, B, as we do this in the previous lesson about transmission of one single character. We have seen that if a parents or an organism is homozygous we get a result like this and all descendants with dominant phenotype for both the characters because we have 100 percent 
if we heterozygous we have 25 percent for each okay this is for independent genes let's we continue with a ranked genes and genetic distance it's a second reason in linked genes we don't like like this you have you are looking here we have crossed on it we like this maybe we have we don't like light like this because we have chromosome which is in this form we can light like this or like this yes okay linked genes can be transmitted together or not linked genes can be transmitted together or not with a certain probability depending on the distance that separates them on the chromosome. This allows to understand and define clearly the difference between transmission of independent and linked genes. Let me repeat this. This allows to understand and define clearly the difference between transmission of independent and linked genes and also to estimate the distance between the linked genes. Concept of a linkage and decombination. Let's we continue with the concept of a linkage and a recombination. Case of independent genes in the second generation phenotype, phenotypic ratio are 9, 3, 3, 1. Case of linked and inseparable genes, complete linked genes or complete linkage phenomena. Second generation is a phenotypic ratio which are 3, 1. However, there is another case different from the above two second generation results do not correspond to n of above. Genes are linked but they get separated and recombined in a new way during the formation of garments. This separation and recombination is done by the process of crossing over. Do you understand what is a crossing over? Here we have some pictures or some figures which which is showing us whether there is crossing over process or not. Then we start on A with my pen. This is number A. Here on number A, there is no crossing over, meaning that there is no recombination or separation. The result would be we will have four non recombinants. We have four non recombinants chromatids because there is no recombination or separation between those chromosomes and we have another part on number two where we have the process of crossing over on these steps that is crossing over crossing over has done if there is a crossing over, we have none recombinant chromatids and recombinant chromatids. The result would be two recombinant and two non recombinant chromatids. A. These are answers on above situation. On A, there is no crossing over between two genes, meaning that there is no recombination. Of the alleles but on number B when there is a crossing over between them the result of crossing over is two recombinant and two non recombinant products we have sorry we have a B and plus plus which are parental gametes 
and a plus and a plus b where they are, they are recombinant gametes and there you have parent gametes which is pro, which produce parental progeny and the recombinant gametes which produce recombinant progeny the second reason is how to detect how to determine whether two genes are linked or independent a test course is used and the result are observed if the results of this test course are four types or four phenotypes in the ratio or near the ratio one 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 one, one means it's 25 percent for each this case will be independent genes when you have the ratios of one 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 or 25 percent for each in four phenotypes this case will be independent genes in the other ratios different from above mentioned the case will be ranked genes example number one a homozygous tall P with smooth seeds is crossed with a homozygous dwarf plant with linked genes. The first generation produces all tall plants with smooth seeds. When a test cross is carried out, the following results are obtained. 53 tall plants smooth seed. 48 dwarf plants linked seeded and 49 total plants linked seeded and 47 dwarf plants smooth seeded smooth seeded the question is this are the two genes linked answer is no they are independent because let me show you because the ratios between them are one 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 or near the ratios means that this case is independent genes the answer is no they are independent let's we continue Example number two. In the house mouse, the autosomal array is trembling and the legs. The legs is a short hair. Are dominant to non trembling, normal, and long hair. Respectively, heterozygous trembling legs films females were crossed with normal wrong haired moles and yielded the following offspring trembling legs 109 trembling wrong haired 44 normal legs 42 and the normal wrong haired the question is this are the two genes linked the answer is yes they are linked because why where they are linked because their ratios are differ from what we have seen above example number three let me take a pause and we will continue with example number three i'm coming i'm coming soon
Okay, thank you so much. I'm coming back. Let's we continue with example number three. Uh, example number three: The sophia the red eyes are red is dominant over its purple eyes are red, and the long wings are red is dominant over its thickest wings are red. Heterozygous fly for the two characteristics is closed with fly with purple eyes and the thickest wings. They obtained in first generation as follow. 690 flies with red eyes and normal wings. 614 flies with red eyes and the thickest wings. 622 flies with purple eyes and normal wings 
and 616 flies with purple eyes and the thickest wings. The question is this, are the two genes linked? The answer is no, they are independent. If someone asks you why are they not linked, you have to answer him with reference to the characteristic of independent genes and linked genes. Okay. Now we are on the concept of the combination, frequency, and genetic distance. We have parental garments which produce parental progenol, the combinant garments and which produce the combinant progenol, as we have seen above. But in a full, let's we look on what is parental garments, what is parental progenol or offspring. Parental garments, the areas within garments are organized on a chromosome in the same way as they were organized within the parental cells. Let me repeat. The areas within garments are organized on a chromosome in the same way as they were organized within the parental cells. But parental progeny or offspring the two phenotypes are associated within the offspring the way they were organized within the parents recombinant garments the alleles within the garments are associated in the way different from how they were on a chromosome of parental cells and recombinant offspring uh, the two phenotypes are associated in the way different from the way they were grouped within parents. Recombination frequency is the same as recombination percentage. Meaning that here you can say recombination frequency or recombination percentage. All of them are the same and also are the same with genetic distance. The combination of frequency or recombination percentage are equal to genetic distance. And this genetic distance, it has its SI unit, which will be around below. And we have formula of the combination percentage which is equal to number of the combined offspring from the test cross result over total number of test cross offsprings times 100 the combination percentage or the combination frequency equal to all number of the combined offspring from the test cross result it means that are recombinant offspring over total number of testicles of offspring means that are the combinants and non recombinants times 100. And you have what you call genetic distance. What is genetic distance? The, the estimated distance between the, the ring and the arrays or genes are what you call genetic distance. Genetic distance is measured in its SI unit as I told you. We measure genetic distance in a genetic unit or GU or St. Morgan CM. Understand you can measure genetic distance in a genetic unit which is called GU or Santi Morgan, which is SECM. Recombinance percentage 
with its genetic distance or Santi Morgan. 100%. As I told you above, I have told you that the combination of percentage uh, is equal to genetic distance. This is what I have told you above. This is, is explaining what I have said. Means that 1% equal 1 genetic unit. 10% equal 10 genetic unit. 20.23 percent equal 20.23 genetic unit 32 percent equal to 32 genetic unit or 32 cent morgan briefly the combination frequency and the or and the genetic distance is experimentally determined by test course in which first generation the hybrid is crossed with double recessive parent fraud by making the involved calculations. Example number one. In peace, tall steam, which is represented by T, is dominant to short steam, which is represented by short T, and the round seeds. Ala is dominant to linked seed. The two genes are linked. Homozygous tall round seed plant is crossed with homozygous short linked seeded plant to obtain a first generation. A hybrid first generation plant is then crossed with short linked seeded plant to obtain any second generation. 70% tall round seeded plants, 20% short linked seeded plants, 5% tall linked seeded plants which are the combinant and the 5% which are short down seeded plants and also are the combinant. And the question is this estimate the distance between the two linked genes between RL gene T and the ALA. Answer is this. The second generation plants the combined phenotypes come from the recombinant gametes. These are tall ringed seeded plants which have 5% and short round seeded plants which have 5%. The recombination percentage is a sum of all percentages on the recombinant which is equal 5% plus 5% and equal to 10%. The distance, the asked distance would be equal to 10 genetic unit because the combination percentage equal to genetic distance.
okay thank you so much for your attention on exercises this week continue with complaints to mendes rose are those some phenomena which are not said by mendes they are said by other peoples as compared to mendes words those the first one is a complete dominance the second one is codominance multiple areas or polyrealism aretogenes perotropy polygeny and epistasy sex chromosomes and sex linked heredity let's re look one by one with silent mode 